what tips do you have for building your support network when you're starting in a new country? Oh, we like that one as three immigrants. Okay, Shireen, go for that. Well, I have to say that um, having immigrated when I was so young and very poor, um, there was really no sense understanding of what a network would look like. I think what uh, ended up happening was as I moved forward with my career as a CPA, making connections with individuals that I thought were of like mind, that were more of my peers and uh, really uh, finding help where I could. So what Lorraine said at the beginning of this podcast was so spot on for me where um, I didn't have a mentor. I, there was nobody that looked like me in the world of franchising or finance or um, and wherever I sat. So I really ended up finding help in bits and pieces in places where I thought somebody could be of the like mind and being able to uh, grow from there. And throughout my career, as we were building the company, being entrepreneurs between working full time and raising children and wanting to do all of those things well, I really didn't take the time to create the network that I would, really should have. And so that's why I'm here now. I think it's important for us in general, and especially for women, um, to be mindful of networks and how important those things are. And that's maybe in the third phase of my life, I'm emphasizing more 